Hello, and welcome back to another video of Mario Party Super- or not Mario Party Superstars, Super Mario Party. God, I just wish I was playing that game right now. Sorry I haven't uploaded these videos for a while, it's just because I've been busy with some other stuff. I've already chosen the characters, and um, yeah, I'm Rosalina, and the other opponents are Waluigi, Shy Guy, and Koopa. Oh, Rosalina. Did you know about secret styles in Toad's Rec Room? What kind of games do you play on two systems? I don't know. Well, I guess he wants me to find out. But, uh, I'm not going to right now. Oh, I also got new advice, too. Playing around. I just don't know why these videos always end up being an hour. Okay, let's just get straight into the ward. So next ward we're doing is Mega Fruit Paradise. These four little tropical islands feature pipes you can use to warp between them. And that's mainly what this ward always talks about is the warp pipes. Which help you like transport to different islands. Yep, so these are the four characters, and I am Rosalina, like I said. And I would say out of all the boards, this is probably my favorite one. Because, you know, it's a nice, um, tropical experience you get to have. <laughs> Did you just say I hope you brought sunscreen? Well, it's nighttime right now in my world. Anyway, this place is made up of four tropical islands. Let's take a look around. Watermelon Island features two sparklers. Light them up and... Okay, well... So there's present boxes on the upper left island. And then there's a... Shop on Pineapple Island. And a huge ice cream cone. Yeah. Yeah, that all this board always talks about the pipes. Yeah, and we can already tell that's a blooper. Nope. And I go third. Guess not any more uh, first or second playthroughs. Cause like, I'm in Mario Party 9, like I said, in every board, I went first or second, and the same thing happened in Superstars. Doesn't happen in this game though, but it's not like it needs to. Yeah, we know Toad out. So... Yeah, um, I don't actually remember what Rosalina's dice block looks like. But, um, hopefully it's not a, like, you know, like a risky dice block. I think her dice block might have, like, an 8 or something. Also, we've won um, all the boards so far, and I don't think we're gonna win this board this time. So, let's see here. Yeah, that doesn't look very great. I mean, it's nice to get some coins, but, um... On the other hand, you will need to move far if you want to get the star. Also, I'm getting toe tips out of the way. Yeah, like, the, all this board talks about are these warp pipes. Yeah, like, look right there, it even says it there. It's like, jeez, we know how the board works. But basically what it's telling you is that there are those warp pipes where the green one goes to the um, upper left island, and then the red one goes between the yellow island and the red island. Oh, 
And that's very good for Waluigi, because that's, I think, where the star is. Yeah, it is. But he might not have enough coins by the time he gets there, but I think he probably might end up getting a lot of coins. Okay, Slopperazzi. Star in the photo. The more central you are in the photo, the more points you get. Do whatever you must to be in the center, okay. This is like flash forward from Mario Party 10, but better. I think flash forward is very hard. Oh, come on. You can't just all gang up on me. Move. Well, I got something. And so it's like, um, Mario Party 10 flash forward talks to Slopperazzi and they're like, who are you? And then Slopperazzi's like, I'm you, but better. That's how I th imagine it being. Like, flash forward, like, it was funny. But the only thing is, it was just, it was so hard to win because there would always be someone pushing you at the very last second. That was just very lucky that you got him. It's like they, it's like they think they can't choose who they want. That's why they always pick random. It doesn't make sense. I honestly don't know if I should use Rosalina as the ice block. Oh my god, seriously. I think Koopa's dice block is probably one of the worst dice blocks in the game. Because it does have a 10 on it, but there's very little chance that you'll get that. Okay, I really want a 3 or 4. And that's not what I wanted. There's only one coin away. Oh no, he has enough now. Well, I kind of hope he does get the star because then it will like... But I bet the star goes on the, the red island. Oh, this is of course motion controls. So this is precision gardening. Water, pump your water to water the flowers. Or pump your water to the flowers. When you see a rainbow over your head, you're almost there. So I have to stand back because this is motion controlled. Okay, I did it. It's still not gonna matter though. You know what I really wish? I wish there was like an item where it would let you switch 
places with someone. There is actually an item, but it's not in Mario Party mode. It's in um, Partner Party mode. It's the Warp Box. It's where you get to switch with the other team. Like, it's not both of you. It's just one of you switches with one person on the other team. See, like, that might be good for Shy Guy, because that might be where the star is. And he's, of course, going to get several mushrooms. Well, let's just say that it's not several, it's just three. Yeah, you're not going to get very far with that. Koopa, unless you get a 10. Yeah, look, Toad with the obvious tips. You can use the item you just got. You know what? I know this might sound like a stupid idea, although I probably might be. But I actually want to get to this item shop because this is the one that sells the gold pipe. So... I think I'm going to use this. So how much do I need again? The only highest I can roll is 9, unless I get an 8. 9 will get me to the event space. Nah, I, I'm going to stick with normal. While I'm landing on the warp pipe, how should I do it? I think I should. This probably might ruin everything for me, but this is in case the star is dipped on this island. And if it's not, I'm gonna be very screwed. Unless I somehow make it before he does, but that's just no way that's going to happen. He's definitely got that star. Okay, at least I'm on a team with Shy Guy, because I don't want him, I don't want Waluigi to get any more coins. So this is perfect fit. Fit the block pieces together, rotate. Joy-Con to align the two halves of the block. Which I was trying to do, but Shy Guy was not listening to what I was doing. Finish. That was super fast. Winners. High five, or thumbs up. I, I, I don't know why they call that thumbs up. It's not like they're using their thumb to give them a high five. It's clearly a high five. Of course, Shy Guy has one more coin than me. But it doesn't matter, because he might buy an item and then I'll be in first place. That's the warp pipe. Well, I'm now in first place only by two coins, I think. Yeah. Yep, it was. I don't know who would be better to get the star. Probably... Well... To be honest, I don't want any of them to get it. Oh, great. Now everyone's going over there except me. Let's go. Well, I'm stuck over here on this island. Oh, 
Well, this might help. Which one is it, though? Oh, yeah, I can win this. Okay, well, that's not a whole lot, but... Alright. So basically, you just have to hold the A button, aka the right button, until like they all stop, and then you just go a bit bigger, and then, then you win. See, like, why do they all stop? Okay, I'm gonna stop there. I bet they, one of them tied. No, they didn't. Oh, yeah, they did. I thought... I thought they didn't tie, but they did. They just really love tying with each other. Get a one or a three. Well, that means we might have to play a 1v3. I honestly don't think I'm gonna get the star. I think maybe Shy Guy or Koopa has it. Unless I get lucky, which... It's just not gonna happen. Okay, is this... When is this again? Candy Shakedown. Oh, this is so obnoxious. Shake out all the candy, treat the Joy-Con like a jar, and shake it until all the candy falls out. This game is obnoxious. Like, I pressed the... I held it in a weird way, that's why it's like going like that. But... In, if this was real life, the candy should all fall out in like one go. This is so dumb. Yeah, in, if this was real life, the candy should all be faster, like... Shouldn't be so slow. But really what you have to do is just, like... Don't go, like, crazy with the shaking. Just, um... If it's not working, it's just, it's the game's fault. It's not your fault, I don't think you would do a bad job at that. I do like that game, though. Only because it's funny how, like... Um... The candy just does not f get out. Like, one time I was playing that mini game, I was like, Get the hell out of there! Could have said it then, but... No, it didn't. And Shy Guy gets the star. And this is not going to do anything, so he's still going to have enough. Wait, does he have enough? Yeah, he still has enough. So basically what happens there is you pick um, one of the presents, and you'll either get Lakitu or a Piranha Plant. When you get Lakitu, you get to steal coins or a star. And if you get Piranha Plant, you lose half your coins. And now I'm sad. Well, Rosalina is sad. Okay, please go over to where I am. Okay, that honestly got my hopes up so high. Then it just came crashing down. It looked like she was going over to that island, but no, she didn't. Seriously, you do not need another hidden block. Well, now I have to try and get back over to that island. Without these guys trying to get back to it. I think out of all of us, Shy Guy is in a... 
pretty good position. And Koopa gets Bowser as an ally. Glad I didn't. I actually glad I don't. I didn't get Bowser because, again, I don't like his dice block. Okay, well I can't reach that warp pipe. Wait, where is this going? Yeah, I. Only I needed a six. Well, let's just hope that I um, can roll like. Maybe a, maybe a four or a five just to get some items, because they could help. Okay, if that works. By the way, I'm not sure what happens in that event space we just passed. Like, I actually have no idea what it does. Let me know in the comments what that event space does. Toad said it was something to do with, like, sparklers. But, um... I don't see any sparklers. And, of course, he gets locked, too, and he's probably gonna steal from me, because I have the most. Yep. I would have stolen from Shy Guy. Oh, I just hit the camera. I always end up doing that. I always end up hitting the camera. It's fine though. So what I'm really hoping for next turn is a 2 or a 3. So I feel like I could probably use Rosalina's dice block to get that. Because she has a 2 or a 3 on her dice block. But, I bet they're gonna give me an A, though. No, this is the one that always scares me. So for this one, you just have to pet Wiggler without waking it. You just shake the Wii Remote to pet it and get points. Um, you can only get to a total of five. And, yeah, it's literally just luck. What I normally do is I just go for like two fives in a row and then I probably just go like one or two. Would have helped if I went first though because then it would work out more in my favor. But overall this is just luck based and I don't like this at all. But if you do get, uh, if you do, if you're the one who wakes a Wiggler, then you lose all your points. But when he does wake up, he, like, actually scares you. I don't know what I should do. I think I might go about four... Okay, well, I, I survived. Come on, someone wake him up. If no one, if Koopa doesn't wake him up, I'm- Oh my god. Like, that- that actually scares me. I would have gone five, but I was just scared that I would wake him up. But I was about to say, if Koopa... God, why is the camera shaking so much? But I was about to say, if uh, Koopa... only did it once, then I would have did it once, because that just makes sense. Because if I did it more than once, probably would have waken him up by now. Also... Why would you use that? 
Well, I guess he wouldn't. Well, no, he doesn't get there. Well, at least I don't have any stars, so I'm fine if they take coins away from me. I really wish this game had stickers, like superstars, because then I would be able to actually, like, talk, but the character talks, not me. It's turn six, and none of us even have made, like, any progress. Well, just, of course, when I say that, Koopa then does that. Like, why steal from random when I clearly have the most? Like, it's like he thinks he can't pick who he wants. Computer players are so stupid sometimes. They do stupid stuff. But sometimes it ends up screwing me like he could have actually got me. And then, of course, he gets another ally. So Koopa's definitely winning the ally star. Which I don't like. God, why do these players' turns take so long? So let's hope that I get a 2 or 3. Yeah, well, obviously, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get it. Not even that might do anything. You know what I could, you know what I could do with that? I could probably just keep on restarting the turn until I get a star. Because, I mean, you, you do get a star from that. But it says if you're lucky, which, that's never gonna happen with me. <clears throat> oh my god, I'm never ever gonna get a star. This is why I wish I would have got a gold pipe. Or I wish I had one. God, we have not, I don't think we've got like a single duplicate minigame yet, which is pretty weird. Because I usually get like the same like all the time. So this is Soaker Croak, splash your rivals out of the pool. The water tank holds five sprays, and you just shake to refill it. I also didn't think he was going to fall off while he was going to barely stay on. Also, look at that. Why would you guys just stay in the water? It's not like there's an invisible wall in front of you that you means you can't get out of it. Okay, now if, if I feel like these players' turns are taking way too long, I'm probably going to just cut to my turn. This is only 29 minutes. It will be more if I have the intro in the beginning of the video, but right now it says it's 29 minutes. Can you get the bad one, please? How come they are always getting the good one now? Well, 
Like, that's so, so stupid. Like, I clearly have the most. Why would you steal my from random? Well, that was actually good because now he doesn't have enough, but he'll probably land on something very lucky and get enough. I know this is too soon, but I don't feel like I'm gonna get a star this game. That's what I think so far. It's what's gonna, not gonna happen. So what do I need to reach that? I need an 8 or a 9. So if I use the mushroom, I need to get a 5 or a 6. If not, then that just proves how... That just proves my luck with this game. Oh my god, I'm never gonna get there. Everyone else can get there except me. Yeah, it says if you're lucky. Well, there's no way in hell I'm lucky at all. Um, buy something. Waste more of your coins. Or instead, just do the smart thing. But he's gonna get a million more, and then he'll have enough. I saw a gold pipe, and if, like, he gets that, then I'm, I'm not even going to say anything. Dark gallery. Oh god, it's one of these instructions where it scrolls. But basically, we just have to hit him. All three of us have to hit him. Yeah, look, we win on our practice try, but just watch us not win on the real try. Because these other p players are trying to tease me. Yep, see, told ya. Well, I've won a lot more mini games than Koopa. I don't think he's like won any yet. I've won like every other one, so I, that doesn't make a difference for the mini game start. Like, I swear the mini game start is in this game. The game just doesn't give me it because they know I always get it, and they just don't want to give me an extra star. Now watch, I bet they're gonna pick probably Shy Guy and they're gonna give him a gold pie. Because they do give you a gold pie. Oh, they're gonna pick Waluigi and he's getting an ally phone. Okay, I'm skipping this because this is just. We already know how this works. Okay, there we go. The so yeah, Kamek just turns all the bad luck spaces into extra bad luck spaces. So what I might do, I know this is cheating, but... I mean, it, maybe I might just keep using the hidden block card until I get a star. But that might take a while though. But I will obviously pause the video. Okay, about time someone got that. Oh, I guess you don't lose half, you just lose like a below 10. Okay, well, I don't know if I should use this now. Because the thing is, I'll have to go through that cutscene. Where he's explaining what happens during the last three turns. And I really don't want to do that. 
Nah, I'll, I won't do it. I don't want to cheat. That just is not fair. But let's hope I get lucky. Oh my god. Um. Wow. That never ever happens to me very often. Okay then. Um, okay, I don't know what to say about that, but that was... That was weird. I, I don't know how I got that lucky. And I also finally land on this. About time. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to... Hopefully, I will... Make it to the... Um... Dumb. That's all I'm gonna say about that. Like, I know he doesn't have enough coins, but he could win this mini game and get enough. Or he could have been on a team with me. Like, what is wrong with these robots? It's like they don't know how to play the game. Like, it kind of looks like they don't really know how to play Mario Party. I'm trying to get in front, but whatever. So for this one, you just have to not get hit by the bruisers or whatever the... Yeah, they're called bruisers. And I always like to be in front, because that way I... That way I'm not getting, like, pushed back. Like, how do you get in front of me? By the way, if there's blocks on the top or the bottom, that's when they'll come out of the warp pipe. So, if, yeah, like, now they're gonna come out of the bottom. Out of the pipes. You could just stop and, like, basically make them stop. That basically makes them stop, too, so then they'll get hit, but they might get past you. But it's it's worth a try, if you want to be mean, but I don't feel like doing that because that might mess me up. I honestly really want to get to the shop this turn, so maybe I might, like, Probably, um, every time someone's picked random, it's always Waluigi. So I, I really want to get to the shop this turn, so maybe what I'll do, like, this is the only time I'm going to cheat. Like, I, I want to do it, because, like, I just, I just want to do it. So, what, yeah, like, if y'all don't know what I'm trying to say, basically I'm gonna try, I want to get to the shop this turn. Because, um, that shop has a, um, golden pipe in it. And of course I need a Five or freaking six. You just could not be nicer to me. So if I don't get a five or six this turn, I might as well just restart the turn. Oh, that would have been very lucky. If I got another star. Yeah, but I don't want to use that dice block because that dice block does not help. Alright, let's try this again. Also, look what's happening right now. Koopa picked random, steal a star, and he didn't steal from me, he stole from Shy Guy. 
I'm still gonna cut because these players just love to waste my time. Okay, I didn't get lucky on the hidden block, but will I get lucky for this? Uh, of course not. So let's try again. Okay, here's what I'm thinking about doing. If I get a star from the hidden block, I don't think I might need to get a gold pipe. But I, ju I just want to get a gold pipe. Because um, that way my victory will be assured. Literally, you can't just give me one more. You always have to give me one less. Oh. Well, let's see if I get hit. Um, nope, of course not. Once again, he does get to Lakitu, luckily, because it's random what he gets. How, how the hell does he always roll, like, so high with the riskiest dice block? If I, if I was using it, I would just be getting the worst stuff on it, which is the th literally the three worst stuff. Which are the two minus threes and then the one. I don't know how long I should do this for. Maybe I should just cut until I actually get it. <laughs> wow. Only four coins. Yeah, that's that's really nice of you. Oh my god, why can't you just give me five or six? Yes, yeah, see, he rolled a six. Why can't you give me a six? Yeah, well, no one's gonna be crossing that bridge. Like, just watch him get so lucky and get a 10. Yeah, even when there's one 10 on the dice block. Yeah. Is that- you know why they didn't give him a 10? Because they don't want me to prove to you that this is rigged. Well, this is pretty much rigged right now. The shy guy gets a 6, and I can't get a 6. It's like there isn't a 5 or 6 on the normal dice block that I have. Okay, this is actually the tough decision. Should I just keep on going, or should I just still try to get to the shop? Because, I mean, even if I did get to the shop, it's not like I would have got... What am I trying to say? Because even if I did get to the shop and get the golden pipe, I would still get another star, so... I don't know. Because I can't... I can't get there to, for another turn. Okay, fine. I'll just keep on going then. If you don't want to give me what I want, then don't. I'll just have two stars. Yeah, look, he gets a five. Why can't I get a five? Now just watch them give me a five or a six on the last turn. And then that the game will just basically be teasing me there. But I'm not going to do any more restarting. Because I don't want to. Because I don't want this to be too long. Okay, so for this one, I don't know which side is harder, but I would say both is actually harder. So the solo player uses this little, like, toy helicopter to get these packages, and then you just have to go and collect them from the door yourself. Yeah, of course, when I go all the way back down, you, of course, put them all the way up there. But this, the team of three can carry uh, more than one, but the solo player can't carry more than one. Okay. 
So far we are winning. Oh god, I hate when you go up the stairs. Okay, I'm just, this is probably gonna be the last one. So I can, yeah, I can still make it. Yep, and we beat him by two. Honestly, what I'm hoping for is that the the game finally gives me the mini game star. That's like kind of like what I want to like achieve right now. It sounds a bit weird, but that's what I kind of want right now. Because if I get a one bonus star, then I win no matter what. Or unless... Shy Guy luckily gets all of them. Oh yeah, way to add insult to injury. Me trying a million times to get five or six, and I can't. Yeah, that that's just teasing me. Cause the game's like teasing me there. Okay, what does this do? Okay, I absolutely have no idea what that event space does. But as I was saying, now oh, what I can't remember what I was gonna say now. Oh my god, how do you never get Piranha Plan? It's like he knows what's inside each box. Because there's no way you can get Piranha Plan like Nether. God, I can't remember what I was going to say with Shy Guy now. Now just watch them give me a 10. Or not a 10, a 5 or 6. Well, close enough. Well, I suppose we'll take a lucky space to finish off. Yeah, that, that's what you get for teasing me, shy guy, with your fives or sixes, showing me that you so you can get five or sixes and I can. Yeah, well, I have to say that those five or sixes didn't really do anything for you, so haha. I didn't even get a single ally to... Oh my god, how is everyone getting fives? or more than four. Next, this is the last turn, so I won't have another turn to get to the shop. And even if I did get the gold pipe from the shop, I wouldn't have been able to use it, because it's the final turn. Well, it's not going to look tasty if it's melting. Well, it still will be tasty, but I don't, I don't like ice cream when it's melting. Yeah, that, that's just... That's really going to change the game, Waluigi. That's really going to change the game. No, this is the... Okay. Let me read the rules first. Don't get caught with a bob bomb. Pass the bob bomb around clockwise. You can only hold one at a time. In my opinion, I think this is the worst minigame in this game. Along with Don't Wake Wiggler. Like, this is actually so rigged. Basically, you think just mashing the button to pass the bomb around is going to do anything, but it actually isn't. Because, like, I always end up losing on the first round. And it all comes down to, like, the final two. And then I always lose. 
I just, I'm, I'm not gonna win. Unless I have perfect timing. But I don't know when the bomb's gonna blow up. I wish it would actually tell you when the bomb's gonna explode. That way it wouldn't be so rigged. But yeah, I, I hate that minigame so much. It's it's the worst mini game ever. Okay, well let's see how we do here. Mini game, mini game. That's not mini game. So they just never give me mini game because they know I always get it. Well, I won. No matter what happens now, I win. I really did not think I was going to win this. But I did, luckily. Oh, everyone gets that. Okay, I'm going to skip this because we pretty much all know who the winner is. And I'll... I mean, instead of Toad and Toad announcing it, I will announce it. In three, two, one. It's me. Could have said the winner is, but no. Oh, I really had 84 coins. I did not think I had that many coins, but at least the rich bonus is also back to. Like, I swear, a minigame start is in this game. You can go look it up for yourselves. They just never give me it, because they know I always win it. That's why I wish there was an option to, like, mess with the bonus stars. Like, choose whichever ones you want, and I would always choose minigame. Because, like, like I said in the ending of the last video, minigame is supposed to be the one that's included the most. Also, I don't know why they only announced two bonus stars now. Should announce three. We stopped announcing three till I think. I think. Mm, I think it was ten. Yeah, cause I I do remember there were um only two in that game. So I think it was until ten they stopped announcing three. Yeah, because in yeah nine did announce three, but ten didn't announce three. Okay, so as you, as it said there, we unlocked a new board. And this new board is Kamek's Tantalizing Tower. Which you get by playing all the other boards, but we will be playing that in the next board. Or in the next video. Wow, for once, we might not have a video that's so long or an hour. Okay, let's get rid of all these blue dots. I hate that you have to scroll all the way down just to get rid of them. Like, what they mean is, like, you got something new. Let's just do a quick check around and see if we've got anything unlocked. Yeah, we've already got that, which we got in the last video. Also, you can't talk to these other people. Okay. You can play as him, so I don't know why he's not asking you to... So basically, if you see any character that is playable, like just hanging around, um, you can basically invite them over. And uh, you swap them out with someone. But we don't want to invite Peach, because for obvious reasons. Okay, we still haven't unlocked this. I think this is the pipe down to the stickers, and I actually don't know how you're supposed to get that. Okay, he's... <clears throat> okay, you literally said that last time, Birdo. But this will also be the la the next mode we are doing after Mario Party. And like, there's only four boards. That also makes this kind of like, just kind of, it makes the mode kind of dull. That's why I think Mario Party Superstars is gonna be like the latest Mario Party for. 
a few years, in my opinion. Because it is now, like, everyone really likes it. Which I'm really glad about. It deserves positivity. But, um... I, just, I really hope they do announce DLC. Because now that the Kirby game is out... Now that the... Well, the Mario Strikers game is gonna be out on June 10th, I think, so... And then the Nintendo Switch Sports, it, that's already come out too. There's also that new Sonic game. I, I watched the Game Awards, by the way, if you're wondering. I did watch it, and they did announce a bunch of cool stuff. Sonic Frontiers, I think that's what it's called. I think it, it did... It, it did look pretty cool. That's weird. You said that was an update for the party pad. Also, in the next video, when we finish the board, that's when we'll get the first gem, which is the red gem, as you can see. And then this is this will get us the green gem. This will get us the yellow gem. This will get us the blue gem, and then... God, I have to go all the way back over there. This will get us the purple gem. Mini games mode, and this mode doesn't have any gems to it. I can show you it, but I'm not going to. So anyway, I think I should stop the video now. So this finally won't be an hour. Which is great. So in the next video, we will play the last board of the Mario Party mode, and after that... When we collect our first gem, which is I think it's one on the top, we will then move on to Partner Party. Again, Partner Party is just Mario Party mode, but it's two versus two style. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe. And I'm just going to say this, I don't think I'm going to win the next board. I always say that, and then I end up winning. I think I also did that in Mario Party 9 too, but... I think and then the next board is where my win streak goes down the toilet. But anyway, hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you all for Kamek's Tantalizing Tower. Wait, can I buy anything else? Nope, can't. Okay, see you all in the next video. Bye everyone.